Welcome back Marvel fans. Today I have another Marvel Universe figure review featuring Doctor Doom. Here in the package he looks really awesome. I like his uh, costume here with all the metal with the green cloth suit there with the hoodie. Looks awesome. The cape. I definitely recommend picking this figure up. This figure is in series 3, figure 15. Definitely an iconic character in Marvel. Everyone should have a Doctor Doom figure. And this is a three and three quarters one and looks pretty awesome. You get a picture of him out of the box. As you can see there, series 315. Here is a bio of Doctor Doom and some other figures, Doctor Strange, Scar, and Falcon. So here we have Doctor Doom out of his packaging. And it's a pretty awesome figure. Um, I like the paint on this guy. I like um, the articulation is actually not that bad. Uh, he has the cape and he has like the you know the green cloth suit kind of thing and that does limit the articulation quite a bit um, but I mean it's a pretty nice figure definitely fits well in anyone's Marvel Universe collection to have a Do Doctor Doom in their collection uh, the cape here is a soft plastic a little bit of rubbery feel to it uh, as well as the lower part of uh, the cloth. Uh, there is a little gun holster but there is no gun there um, so that you know little little added features here they added but you know don't really mean anything. Get a look at the back here. It is a separate piece here. It's not attached to the head. Let's get into the articulation. The head can rotate 360 if you can get it. There's not a whole lot of up and down here. Uh, let's go into the cape here. This is just loose. You can take it off, I'm sure. Um, but it's you know just sits right there. Arm can go all the way around. And this bicep obviously can rotate. And we have a joint there at the elbow. This hand can fully rotate. And here's another one. Uh, it's a different mold, so that's nice. Uh, the ab articulation is really loose up here. And there is waist articulation. Even with the legs, they have this cutout, which is really good, so you can get the articulation to go front and back. Not as much back, but you can and then it goes out. If they did not cut that slit there you would have barely any articulation. Then we have the double jointed knees and the foot can rotate all the way around and uh, back and forth. Mine's got a little bit of a build up of paint but it can work that out. So yeah, I mean nice figure for Dr. Doom. Nothing too spectacular but um, it's pretty nice still. I, I, I enjoy it. I'm glad I, I bought it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my review on Dr. Doom from Series 3, Figure 15. Take it easy, guys. And if uh, you still want to check out that Apocalypse, try to get that. Um, here I'll have a link in this video down below for you to uh, go there and uh, try to win that figure. All right, guys. Take it easy.